What's good, YouTube? It's not Lucky Bros. Incorporated. I'm your host, Triple N. And I got another deck profile for you guys. I got another deck profile for you guys. Uh, it's, it is July 4th, which means it's Independence Day. And I thought I wanted to bring something that was red, white, and blue. And the only thing I could think of was Ariel Devon Knight. Oh, no, because he has red, white, and blue, and he's a knight. And Independence Day is all about, you know, fighting for what you believe in. And who else fights for what they believe in in the night? So, hey, you know. The starter, which this isn't the right one. This is the one for Security Dragon, but I like using him because he looks cool and he's shiny, so he's the starter. Uh, but let's go ahead and get in this Ariel Divine Knight Alt Mile profile. I play for Ariel Divine Knight Alt Mile. Um, uh, he has the ability to, if you have no fix up cards in your damage, all your grade 2 rear guards get plus 10,000 power and 5,000. Uh, shield and if your soul has a unit card with alt mile and his card name those units get a critical so that's cool and there's a uh, once a turn act ability it's counter blast one soul blast one call up to one grade two each from your deck and drop zone to r so this is a grade two like deck so yeah next we have blue we got three blue sky knight alt mile I was running four, but I think I think three is fine. You really don't want to really ride into this. You usually want to just get it into the soul somehow or use the other one. But um, its ability is during your turn, if you have no face of cards in your damage zone, this unit gets plus 15. And its act ability is counter blast one, discard a card from your hand, search your deck for up to two grade twos, reveal them from your hand. So it lets you get to your grade twos faster. So it's, it's decent. You can ride into it if you really feel like you need to. Uh, on to our grade twos. I play four. Uh, counter offense knight sully man um, on v when placed look up the seven cards at the top of your deck call up to one alt mile call to r and shuffle your deck when it attacks you so blast one return a rear guard call it to your hand and then this unit gets plus five so really what you do is you call that th uh, call an alt mile um, swing with it and swing with this and then use its ability to get that alt mile to your hand so it's really good for that and it's really good for just bouncing cards in general sometimes you can get like if you have cards that have like one place abilities, you can just bounce them with this and like you can get those skills off next turn when you use it. So it's not bad. Uh, I play three. Um, this thing does not want to. Three Absolute Blade Knight, Level Rot, win place from your hand. You can counter blast one. Search your deck for up to one grade two. Call it to an open R and shuffle your deck. If you have no face of cards in your damage zone, you make Soul Blast to do this ability. This is a really good card. I only play three. I feel like four is too much. Um, it lets you get, get some more grade twos and stuff. Uh, and then, like, the whole Soul Blast and the side of Counter Blast is really nice. Because, like I said, this deck's all about getting twos. So, this is really good. I play three. I feel like you really don't have to play four of a lot of cards because a lot of stuff in here is searchable. So, but I play three Starlight Violinist. If you have no facial cards in your damage zone and all your grade two units on R gets boost and they can intercept from the back row as well. This is really good because um, you usually should never have face up cards. Uh, uh, face uh, face up. So like this card is like really good for that. It's like it's really good for like the guarding and all that because with. Uh, alt mile skill of giving everything plus five. Now you have cards on the field that has like the ten um, things. So this is really good, really good card. You have ways to get it uh, to the field and back. So I play two. I play two high dog breeder Kane. Kane's really good because uh, you play uh, Pongo in the deck. Uh, but it says one place counter blast one. Search your deck for Pongo. Call it to R and shuffle your deck during the battle. This is unit is boosted by a high beast. It gets plus three. So that can come in handy. Can come in handy. Play two of that. Uh, I play one. Uh, nope, song angel. Counter blast one. Search your deck for one starlight violinist and call it to R. It's literally just there to call the violinist, so you can get your boost and plus five to your grade twos. This is really just a one of because you could just call about. It only calls violinists. You just you don't really you don't even have to play it, but you can if you want to. Uh, I play one. Uh, Die Connect Dragon, win place. If you have another unit in the same column as this unit, Soul Charge 1. If you Soul Charge Trigger, this unit gets plus 10,000. It's like a better version of, um, well, it's like a grade 2. I'm not going to say better. It's like a grade 2 version of Pongo. I guess you could say it's better. It's whatever. Um, but it's like a bigger version of Pongo. 
Uh, so, not bad. Uh, last of the grade twos, I play one. Uh, Knight of Ambition Scheme. What's your name? Ding, ding, Gnud? Dagnud? Or whatever? Um, at the beginning of your main phase, this unit gets plus five into the end of the turn. And if you have no face cards, you get damage on counter charge. So, let's say... Let's say if your opponent doesn't damage you and you have this on the field and there's three cards face down. The next turn, it'll get that plus five and let you counter charge so you can make some plays. So it's a counter charger, so it's good. Um, on to our grade ones. I play four. Uh, Lauren Knight Sullius. It's the look at the top five grade three searcher. And if you have no face of cards, you get damage. Um, this card as uh, gets plus five so this is uh, really good this is really good because you need to get to your grade three so you have to play that i play four uh pongo win place if you have another card in the same unit so charge and then it, if it's a trigger it gets plus five like i said that grade two is like a better version of this but um pongo's in there is really good uh the soul charging is actually kind of like a it's there for like the luck factor because what you want to do is try to soul charge an alt mile into this hole, so when you do go to grade three with the uh, aerial divine alt mile, you can already have his skills live where your grade twos will have that extra uh, crit. That's what it's there for. So, Pongo's really good because you really want to try to soul charge that alt mile into the soul. And if you do, and you go grade three, you have your skills active early. So, play four Pongo. Uh, I play three. Uh, Lunar Crest Knight Felix, uh, when it attack or boost, you can Soul Blast 1 and return a rear guard, uh, the front card to your hand, and then this unit, uh, gets plus 5 into the end of that battle, so, it's really good for that, it's really good for the, like, getting plus power and returning cards, it's literally like the grade 2, uh, you want, you want to ride. On to triggers, uh, 8 crit. Four draw PGs, uh, four heal. It's really not else much to say. Like you get those crits, and like if you already have crits on your um on your grade twos, if you have the alt mile and the thing gets, they have they get a lot of power. You usually just you just use force one. You know, it's no really reason to play force two. Uh, no, actually, do I be playing force two? So yeah, usually I usually do play force two. It's up to you at the end of the day. You could go force one or force two. I think usually I do go force two. Um, just to stack those criticals and really try to make your opponent try to like guard those attacks. But if you want to get more power, you could do Force 1. It's up to you which one you want to do. Because uh, you could go Force 1 or Force 2. Force 1 can give you more power, but usually you're swinging for like... You're usually swinging for 40 a column. Like Each of your columns usually be around 40 and the Vanguard probably be around the same. So you could either... Go for more power and try to swing for 50, 60s, make it harder for them to guard. Or you can go for the extra criticals and kill faster. It's really up to you. But that's going to be the end of my Aerial Divine Knight Alt Mile deck profile. Uh, like I said, happy Independence Day. I really wanted to bring something that's kind of red, white, and blue. And America's kind of like a knight because we fight for what we believe in. But that's going to be the end of our, that's going to be the end of my turn. Peace.